Yo, what's up, peoples? How's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing something, <laughs> something pretty crazy, and it's an idea that I've been wanting to try out for a long time. I got this idea from Theme Park Viral. Um, his channel is in the description, so definitely go check this out. Um, he's a really cool creator. Okay, moving on from that. You can see <laughs> it's a little different than Planet Coaster right now, and it, what we have here is a bunch of names of roller coaster manufacturers and they're on this wheel and what we're going to do is we're going to have <laughs> this wheel random website generate a random coaster for us and then we're going to build what it says to do so yeah it's going to choose from a list of manufacturers here so let's see what i gotta build i do not want it to be gci it's gerslauer all right so we're building a gerslauer <laughs> Um, well, I guess I'll tell it what to do next, so I'll be back in a minute. I think I'm going to tell it what type of Gerslauer I want, but uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I've typed in what I think are going to be the most common Gerslauer products. So we have the Eurofighter, the Infinity Coaster, the Family Suspended, and then the Family Coaster. And the Family Coaster would be something like uh, Fire Chaser Express at Dollywood. So something like that. Um, Eurofighter and Infinity are definitely the most well-known. I'm hoping I get one of those. But, uh, let's find out. It's family suspended. Alright. So, ah. Uh, yeah. So the next thing I'm gonna do is give it a list of elements that I want to choose from. And uh, in that order, <laughs> I will make this coaster. So I'll be right back with another list of things and another spin. Okay, so I'm back with a list of elements that I think that this type of coaster would have. We actually don't have that much on what a Kerslauer family suspended coaster is. Um, it's not very well known it's they don't there aren't really many in the world in fact i don't think there are any right now there's one being built or there was an option for a park to have one built or something like that i can't remember but i've looked at the layout and we have some interesting elements like a vertical lift hill <laughs> on a family suspended coaster okay Whatever. Um, so <laughs> I wrote down what I think would be some of the like elements you would see on this type of coaster. And I'm going to do this in the order of what <laughs> I spin. So if we spin first drop first before the lift hill, then guess what? we got to do a first drop before a lift hill. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we're going to do it. All right, let's spin it. Please be a lift hill first. <laughs> Please. Wave turn. I think I'll remove it and then spin it again because I don't want two of the same element. Low to ground turn. <laughs> Lift hill's gonna be the last thing we get. Okay, tunnel. <laughs> Over bank. Turn. First drop. Okay. I was kind of hoping that we would get lift hill last then, because then it would just be a lift hill into the station, but whatever. Hello. And then the last we'll have a hiker. Alright, <laughs> uh, we're going to actually do a couple more spins, getting some stats here. Okay, so now I'm going to do stats, so like the height, the color. Stuff like that to just kind of get this coaster more <laughs> generated, randomly generated. So I'm going to go, let's do between like 90, eh, we'll do 85 foot, 75, 65, let's go with 55 and then, yeah, we'll do, we'll just leave it at that. So. This is going to determine the height, the, or the highest point of a coaster. So 75 feet. Alright, that's not extremely bad. Okay, so now we're doing colors. Please be something 
Not horrid. Orange? White. Okay. White. <laughs> um, that's not completely bad. We're actually going to remove it again and then spin for the supports. The blue support side's going to look so weird. Oh my word. Alright. Last thing is going to be names. And I just typed out some random ones, so we'll see what happens. It's just going to be named The Coaster. Alright. So, we're going to head into Planet Coaster with all these stats. And uh, let's see what I can create. Okay, going through the coaster types, I'm probably going to pick the Suspended Looping Coaster as my coaster type. There, there isn't a... Uh, there isn't actually the Gerslauer suspended coaster in the game. Just because Planet Coaster wasn't around when this was a product. So, so I think that's the best bet. Okay, I did some more research and the Giovola Invert is actually closer related to the Gerslauer. Except for the track, but the trains look pretty similar. So, yeah. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so the first element was a wave turn. I'm going to do a little dip here. This is going to be so, so weird. I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. I think I'm just going to go to like 80 degrees and then snap it. Oh, this is so weird. Wow. Yeah, that's weird. And then we'll bend it the other way. Okay, so that's our interesting looking wave turn. I'm, okay, testing it now. We're gonna just be eh, it's pretty decent. So the next element is a low to ground turn. We're going to unbank here. And we go into a tunnel. So perfect. Okay, popping out of the tunnel. We're just going to do a pull up. I think. And then we have an overbank turn. So coming out of the tunnel, we're going to go straight into an overbank turn. So I'm thinking something like how Dragonflyer comes out of its tunnel. We're gonna go past 90, probably to about 95. Okay, the next element is the first drop. <laughs> oh my word, the first drop. Would you look at that? Uh, so I'm thinking we're gonna go up and kind of do a little pop up here and then do a sweeping drop. And uh, it's a pretty steep drop from if I remember. So that's pretty decent. But it can be tied up here because we're not moving incredibly fast. about 70 degrees here and then start my pull up okay we have 3.27 G's I think that's gonna be the max so I think we're good there
We're gonna do a little bump up here. Try to kill as much speed as we can. Because we're going straight into a vertical lift next, so. Yeah, right after the drop, we lose momentum. Sound familiar? Full throttle. <coughs> it up that literally a vertical lift <laughs> which is crazy but it's a thing <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> on a invert. Actually, no, I just realized we can get our max height here. So, the 75 foot can be here. I want to increase this part just a little bit so this train can ride on the, that piece of track for a little bit and then we will go one of these the catwalk and then go with Kept that there. Perfect. 70 foot. <laughs> That's a weird looking element right there. I mean, what coaster <laughs> looks like that? So the last thing is actually just this S-Bin. Okay, so this S-Turn is coming out pretty nicely. Yikes. <laughs> I'll say that and then I'll look at the banking. I might have to fix a couple things. Alrighty, so I just finished the <laughs> layout, um, very, very interesting. Oh yeah, I probably should change the color, because we set the colors as a white track, so all white. Of course it landed on the one, oh wait, that was the supports, the supports were blue. Yeah. <laughs> So we got like a nemesis color going, but then the blue supports. Man, this wave turn element is just so weird. It looks so weird. I'm going to go through a round of smoothing. And then I will meet back after that to give y'all the like almost halfway project progress. And then I will do some detailing.
All right, so we're back, and I've detailed up some things, I've added some fencing and some scenery just around here to make this coaster look a little nicer, because the coaster itself doesn't look very good. Uh, so yeah, we put a get together a bunch of stuff. I just put this path here for now. I might do something in the future with it. Yeah, so we're done with detailing. You can see I put a bunch of trees and rocks. I got the tunnel in. I said that that would be a tunnel element, so yeah, I got that in and some weird wacky supports in there. That's okay, I didn't put much detail into this. These aren't custom supports either, they're just part of the ride. So yeah, we have got some good details in, and the Custer is actually running pretty decently on it. It's, it has pretty, pretty good pacing. And the last part is actually even, like, it's it's not too fast, but it's not too slow, so it's perfect. This first part is, would be probably the most thrilling part of the ride. And then this is kind of like, eh, kind of boring. Just kind of maneuver your way around the S-bins and hit the brakes. Not very fast. It's a family coaster <laughs> with the vertical lift that's what Gerslauer said the only thing that I don't like about this coaster type is that this is this looks like B&M track <laughs> so it's not really a Gerslauer suspended but I can't couldn't really do anything about that so yeah thanks for watching guys I will leave y'all with a POV and maybe some off-ride shots and yeah have a great day and if you want to see more content like this, uh, subscribe and leave a comment saying, hey, I like your videos, leave more content like this or something. It really helps out to see like what type of content y'all enjoy and stuff. So, leave y'all with a POV and some Mac shots, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.